Good day, my dear students. For our lesson in physical education, we will discuss about Scrabble. First, let's have a brief introduction about Scrabble. In 1931, Alfred Mosher Butts translated his lifelong love of crossword puzzles into a board game. A key to the game was Butts' analysis of the English language. Butts initially called the game Lexical, but later changed the name to Crisscross Words after considering it and began to look for a buyer. The game makers he originally contacted rejected the idea, but Butts was tenacious. Eventually, in 1948, he sold the rights to entrepreneur and game lover James Brunot who made a few minor adjustments to the design and renamed the game Scrabble, a word meaning to group frantically from the Dutch Scraben to scrape or scratch. Now, let's define the word Scrabble. It is a popular crossword puzzle like board game played by two or four players. The board is divided into a 15 by 15 or 225 grids of squares. The equipment includes plastic or wooden tiles on each of which is printed a letter of the alphabet and assigned point value ranging from 1 for frequently used letter to 10 for letters used less often. The game start, turn by turn, word is added to word, continuously until all 100 tiles are used. The person accumulating the most points for his or her words wins. Scrabble is one of fun games that increases your cognitive abilities. It helps you improve your word derivation skills, where you learn to use prefixes and suffixes correctly. Playing Scrabble with your friends or family members is a great way to build stronger relationships and kill boredom. Scrabble is also an indoor recreational game that can top the list of fun activities that allows the players, like the members of the family, to relax, enjoy, and have fun especially this time of pandemic, where most of us are inside our homes. To benefit more from this fun game, it is important to know the rules and regulations, including the tactics in playing Scrabble. Now here we have the Scrabble board. Premium squares are color-coded and have specific values. Red is triple word score. Multiply the score of the whole word by 3. Pink is a double word score. Multiply the score of the whole word by 2. Light blue, double letter score. Multiply the letter on this square by 2. And lastly is dark blue, triple letter score. Multiply the letter on this square by 3. Now, let's learn how to play Scrabble. Number 1. The first player combines two or more of his letters to form a word and place them on the board to read either across or down with one letter on the center square. Number 2. Player must complete his turn by counting and announcing his score. He then draws as many new letters as he has played, thus always keeping 7 letters in his rack. Number 3. Players must pass to the left. The second player 
then adds one or more letters to those already played to form new words. Number four, players may form new words by adding one or more letters to a word already on the board. Placing a word at right angles to a word already on the board and placing a complete word parallel to a word already played so that adjoining letters also form complete words. Number five, no letter may be moved after it has been played. Number six, the two blank tiles may be used as any letter desired. Seven, any player may use his turn to replace any or all of the letters in his rack. Number eight, any words found in a standard dictionary are permitted except proper nouns. Consult a dictionary only to check spelling or usage. Number nine, any word may be challenged before the next player starts his turn. If the word challenge is unacceptable, the player takes back his tiles and loses his turns. And number 10, play continues until all tiles have been drawn and one of the players has used all of the letters in his rack or until all possible plays are made. Scoring examples. In the following, the words added on five successive turns are shown in bold type. The scores shown are the correct scores if the letter R is placed on the center square. In turn 1, count horn. In turn 2, farm. In turn 3, taste and farms. In turn 4, mob, not and B, in turn 5, bit, P, and at. Seven tricks to help you win your Scrabble. Number one, learn two and three letter words. Play it properly. Two letter and three letter words can boost your score by up to 50 points a game. Number two, create two words at once using the letter S. You can add an S to the end of an already existing word on the board to pluralize it, while also creating an entirely new word. But use your S wisely. Number three, Play styles that create common endings or beginnings on the appropriate sides of the rack. Many words end in ER, ED, OF, ING. So putting those on the left-right side of your rack will help you visualize future options. You can also add these endings to existing words to make completely new ones. Number four, look for hooks. Hooks are single letters you can add to existing words to make completely new ones. For example, lush turns into blush, host into ghost, and come into comet. Stay especially aware of words that could include Y, E, R, and D on the end, like handy, plain. Number five, head for the hot spots. Plan your game from the beginning to move toward hot spots, better known as bonus squares, on the board. Number six, save some combination of the letters. 
While you can only have seven letters on your rack, some combination of the above letters will give you the best option for play. Hint, you can create scar. Hint, you can create star line. And last, number seven, learn Q without U words. The letter Q, the highest scoring Scrabble tile, along with say, always proceed a U. The official Scrabble dictionary lists 17 instances of Q without U words. And these are the words. And that is the end of my lesson. Thank you so much, my dear students, for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.